Hello everyone, Daniel here for the Next Issue Podcast. Today's video is a review for the movie Red Notice. Uh, it recently came out on Netflix. Uh, the first part of this video will be non-spoilers. I will give you a warning and then we'll get into a little bit of spoilers to talk more about the movie. <clears throat> uh, this movie uh, was written and directed by Ross and Marshall Thurber. Um, it's a 2021 film rated PG-13 with a runtime of an hour and 58 minutes. Uh, the premise is pretty straightforward. An Interpol agent tracks the world's most wanted art thief. Uh, like I said, this movie's pretty much you get what you were promised, uh, and it all really relies on the star power of the cast. So let's go over that a little bit. Uh, so we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing John Hardley, Ryan Reynolds playing Nolan Booth, Gaga Del playing the Bishop, uh, Ritu Arya playing Inspector. Urvashi Das, um, and I will say one of my complaints kind of about this movie is that, yeah, we have the star power, but there are like five people with actual names that are said in the film overall. That's it. Everyone else is like an extra or somebody that we know who they're, they're alluded to who they're supposed to be, but I don't think they have like a real speaking role. Uh, it's very odd. It's very odd how this movie of this a movie of this scale uh has such a focused in view of the world um so overall oh before we go into my review uh currently this movie sits at uh 36 percent on the Ron tomato meter from the critics uh and then the audience uh vehemently disagrees with a 92 percent uh this is as of the recording of this video um I will say, um, unfortunately for me, this movie did not connect. Uh, I think it's it's too long. The story is overly complicated. It feels like for it, it almost feels like it wanted to do too much. It wanted to do a heist movie, a spy thriller, uh, a, a, a buddy comedy, uh, almost even a romantic film at some point. I don't know. It, it feels weird, uh, like an action-adventure Indiana Jones type of movie. Um, it, it felt like it was all over the place. Um, and normally, um, I'm pretty lenient. I, I, I mean, I just really enjoy watching media. Uh, I think if this movie was 30 minutes shorter, like if we had cut out... Uh, there's a piece in the middle where we are on a quest for something that feels... Like, maybe that's a good point to start the movie, almost. Like, introduce the characters, jump to that spot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It feels like they were building a lot of the relationships where we... Because you have the cast that you do, you have these stars. Like, you don't need to show me a really, really deep backstory between, uh, you know, let's say, Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds in this case. As we've seen in the trailers, it's kind of... You know them to uh, going up against the character of Gal Gadot. Um, you don't. I don't need to know if they're friends or whatever their backstory may be. Like they are who they are. Like let's just let's just get the you know hit the ground running and let's go. Um, I think yeah. Like I said, the movie to me it feels a little bit too long. Uh, it tried to do a little bit too much. There are some things that are in place that I feel like they're just for like for the shock factor uh, there's one scene where the cgi for a movie of this budget 200 million dollars i believe it costs like just the cgi looks ridiculous like it looks like a star show from um you know the mid 2000s nothing against them it's just that that's where the cgi was then uh if you've seen uh spartacus got to the arena like there's a scene where it looks kind of like that um you know if you like the cast, if you like The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, like if you like those guys, you're probably gonna enjoy the movie. Um, I normally I do, but I feel like it was too much of a good thing at, up until a point. Like, like I was full, and then I had to stop. I had to take a break in the middle of watching this movie. At at about the one hour mark, I was like, oh my god, how long have I been watching this movie? So I paused it. I took a little break. Came back finished the movie i actually quite enjoy the last um i would say 
the last 25 percent of the movie once things really like are heading to a close and there's some uh twists and turns and reveals and then just things start really happening and the, the movie even ends at a point where uh it sets up a story that could be told in a second movie that i would really enjoy i feel like i'm more interested in what they set up for a possible second movie um so yeah that's all the non-spoilery stuff that i'll talk about so here we go spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie this is your chance to go watch the movie on netflix come back in two hours or maybe two and a half if you take a little break in between uh so yeah spoilers um we didn't need to see the rock hanging out with ryan reynolds for an hour before the movie started uh like really digging into it i know they're funny i know they have good chemistry with each other just like the whole prison thing where they have a they realize that they need to work together I, you could have shortened that along a lot um the stuff about the cgi i was talking about it's in in the arena the the bullfighting arena um it looks bad like how does a movie that's 200 million dollars have a scene that looks like that it's weird um yeah uh the reveal that you know and like i said this is we're deep in a spoiler so the reveal that Dwayne Johnson and Gal Gadot are actually working together. That was interesting. I like that. Uh, and then what it, what they set up of them working maybe with Ryan Reynolds for uh, their next heist. I want to see that movie. I'd rather see them be the quote unquote bad guys and root for them in, a, in an Ocean's Eleven type of way. Maybe get a few more people in their crew or whatever the case may be. Um, the fights were fun. The action was fun. But overall, this movie was a big miss for me. Um, but, you know, I, I really can't blame anybody that enjoyed it, though, because I understand. I fully understand. I've seen movies like this where people are like, how can you like that? And I'm like, I'm on the other side of the fence. Like, you know, I really enjoyed it. It was just something that didn't connect. Um, but, you know, if you if you enjoyed this movie, good for you. I, I, I really wish I had enjoyed it more. Um, so... But there it is. Uh, so thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. Uh, you get notifications when we put out videos and stuff like this. Uh, let me know if you have any other movies you would like us to review. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.